Ahoy, I'm Jordan Killiard for thesoundarchitect.co.uk and today I'm going to be having a quick look and a whole lot of fun with Krotos Reformer, the new library from Edinburgh-based Krotos, makers of Dehumanizer, that monster-making tool reviewed by our very own Sam Hughes back in 2014. A little video popping up now, I hope. Um, what is Reformer? Reformer is... It's a very different, it's a very new way of looking at sound design and sound editing and Foley. Um, and I find it quite hard to explain. So it's probably best we just dive in, have a muck around, have some fun. And hopefully I won't spend a whole hour just pretending to be a black leopard or a tiger. Let's have a look. Okay, so when you load Reformer up, this is what you get. You can click on there and then select all your different libraries. I've got the Bengal Tiger, Black Leopard, and lots of other things. Fruit and Veg, Gun Foley, Leather, Polystyrene, yada, yada, yada. And if you click down here, it will take you straight to the website where you can buy some more. Um, yeah, and they're kind of ranging from around kind of 12 quid um, with some of the bundles coming in at about 358. I think the Bengal Tiger is about 82, 83 pounds. Um, but let's listen to the Bengal Tiger first, which we have up here. And what we're going to listen to is me doing a bit of growling. Let's bypass Reformer first so we can hear me just growling a bit. <laughs> yes, and that did hurt my throat just a little bit. Um, let's listen to that through Reformer at 100%. So you're just going to be hearing what comes out of Reformer. Listen again. So what is it doing? What is it doing? I'd say off the top of my head, but I'm really just looking at uh, what the founder of Croto said. It said, Reformer uses artificial intelligence and advanced signal analysis to allow you to perform sound effects with your own voice or with your voice, or any other audio input. In real time, Reformer profiles the input sound, and then drawing from a palette of user-selected library sounds, uses that profile to sculpt a new sound effect. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? Well, what it means is, as far as I can understand anyway, is whatever you're putting into it, it analyzes the frequency and volume and stuff of what you put into it, and then it applies it to its own samples to play them back to you. So again, let's quickly listen to my growl without reformer. And then my growl with reformer. And I guess the idea here is to try and have, I guess it's to try and have original animal noises for whenever you need them. I've done things recently where I've needed the sound of tigers run lines and things like that. And then I'm going to my sound library, you know, I'm kind of going into, oh my God, I've got a bass head here. You know, if I'm going to look for a tiger, and I've got my... So I've got all my usual tiger sounds. I, you know, looking at them, I don't really have that many there. And I guess the idea is that I can just put my voice or I can put anything into it and make something up to a point original every time I do it. So, you know, it's matching the duration of it. You know, if I'm wanting something that lasts exactly that, I can just do that. And I'll get my growl. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I've got another little, what did I do here? Let's see what else I did here. I know, that's not what I want. I want this other kind of growl, which hopefully doesn't sound exactly the same. Let's listen to that. <sighs> it sounds quite similar, but it's, you know, it's a kind of, it's a bit shorter than the other one. We're talking about three seconds. <sighs> okay. And then with Reformer on, You know, you're kind of getting... You're getting something different and something 
you know, original. If I copied a little piece of this and stuck it next to it, make it a bit shorter, and maybe just turn it up a bit, not too much. So you, yeah, so you're getting something a bit different every single time, which is just, you know, it's kind of endless possibilities up to a point, really. And then let's try it with her. So we've got a Bengal tiger. The black leopard is the one that comes free with it when you download the free version. Let's have a listen to the same sound through the black leopard. So it just comes up as a kind of... A kind of mean ass... And again, listening to it... Listening to it without reformer on... Me destroying my throat... That's cool. The only thing that is slightly annoying is if, so I'm starting it there, if I press play again, it will probably sound exactly the same. But if I go just a slightly different point and press play, then it just sounds a little bit different. So the, the idea, I'm, well, what I'm kind of getting in the moment is what you should probably really do is once you've got something you're really happy with, immediately bounce it just in case it doesn't quite sound exactly the same as you thought it was before and then what else do we have if you kind of wanted to kind of almost humanize an animal sound you can get bypass reformer again listen to me go <laughs> and let's listen to it with reformer on let's listen to that a bit louder so you get that kind of panting -y, almost like you've got a black leopard growling as well. Right, and on to Foley. What can you do with Foley? Well, you can do quite a lot. Let's listen, first of all, to mm, some footsteps. Just a random footstep sample of someone walking on concrete slowly. Right, and now what we've loaded up is in Reformer we have the Leather Sound Library. Now, let's bypass it and what we're going to do is we're going to listen to it 100% so all you're going to hear is Reformer samples but being triggered by the one person walking on concrete slow movement sample. Let's listen. So it's very short. Now we're, f we're feeding it a very short sample. It's just taking, and we'll turn it up just a smidge maybe, is it's literally going to be taking the information from this little tiny bit here and then it's going to be using that to trigger its, trigger its sample. So it does just... It's going to be short. If we play around with the dry wet, let's stick it down to 50% first. And listen, so we're never going to be hearing the footsteps and the leather sample, so that we're getting that kind of, you know, it's to save you a bit of time rather than you having to sit there and placing all your footsteps for something that's synced up to picture and then having to get your either sit there and record your leather movements or you and stick all that in or get your leather sounds and put all them in. You should be able to just stick this on, find a, a dry wet ratio that you're happy with, and just let it go. Bypass it. So we're just hearing a nice little mix. Now what I did earlier, what I did a little earlier, and I thought I'd just play it to speed up things now, is we're going to turn off the instance of Reformer on our Foley footsteps, our footsteps there. And then what I did is I just have an instrument track up here of very good Jordan um, and just short pizzicato and if I stick that on reformer I can feed that through it and it's still it's going through the le leather library as well here we go 
for some reason I have fruit and veg loaded up. I must have just been trying to have some fun. Let's load up the leather library again. And here I've just been triggering it. Now rather than, and this is the only thing about just sticking it over the top of footsteps is because it's just doing it exactly, you know, it's really going to be doing it exactly at the same time. I can just sit here with my keyboard and I can just go and just trigger them and that just makes it sound a bit more human and a bit more real. So I'm just been triggering some of these just a little bit off the footsteps a bit. And that's probably what I'll find handy to do as well. I mean, obviously, if you're if you're just trying to get it done quickly, then you can just dump reformer over the top of it. But I think if you can actually just go in with an instrument, and it, does, it can be anything, anything at all, you can feed into it. And it's long, you know, it's just analysing the sound and the frequency and everything, and it's giving you that sample back. Right. We have a whole lot of other stuff as well we can play around with. And let's, just since we're on my little pizzicato track here of... Let's have a look again. So what we were doing is we we're triggering that with the keyboard to get our leather sounds. Let's try on the gun fully. Loading. And I can just hit keys. And there's just a lot of material there, and you know, I think the idea is that you can just feed anything through it. You can feed. I can feed through my voice, and let's just do that. Let's feed through my voice, and I'll have to turn off my voice somewhere else. There we go. At that moment, I was. Uh, what was I? I think I was a tiger there for a second. Let's bring. So now we're, we've got me on the top track here, and we've got me going through the Black Leopard. So I can do all of this in real time. And let's just do it. Let's turn it not to 100%, otherwise you won't understand anything I'm saying, unless you can speak Black Leopard. And there we go. So I can see it can go. Yes, I And it's just being able to have have those sounds reflect exactly what you're saying rather than having to sit there and mould everything yourself and try and get it to match. You can just kind of, from a performance kind of side of things, I can see this being really useful for... Uh... Yeah. Let's try. Me going through the Bengal tiger. I know we're jumping away from Foley here, but it's it's so much fun to do. Da da dee, da da dum 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 dee dee dee. But yeah, being able to mix the two of them together when you're kind of... Hello. Hello. Anyway, that's me at my fun. And you can feed anything through it. You could even... Let's have a look at another library. Because we haven't really investigated anything else yet. Fruit and veg crunch. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Loading library. That's just me. Ah. Uh, ha. Ha. I just, um, I love this idea of being able to feed anything through it. And it being able to just give you something of that exact same kind of 
it's giving you something back that's the same strength and the same duration and it just it feels like it's just going to save a whole lot of time and plus and I haven't tried it yet but I've just noticed I have some crisps sitting next to me And there's not a lot of li there's not a lot of libraries out there where I can show you how it works by eating crisps, and I think that's a good thing. I like it. So that was my quick look and review of Crotos Reformer. Um, I was really surprised by the variety of stuff I could get from it, um, and the variety of applications for Reformer. It's not just making crazy animal noises. There's a lot of really useful foley stuff you can have with the the vegetables um um and of course you know the crisp eating that you can do um leaves and leather movements and all that kind of stuff that you can set up really easily and i think it's going to save a lot of time for a lot of people out there and it's such an original idea um and i think it's really good at crotos to offer it as the kind of free plugin with a free sample library just to kind of get you started and get a taste of it and if you did want to add on little libraries to it you know some of them can end up looking a bit expensive the really cheapest ones are about 12 quid and they're a good bit of fun um and then ones like the bengal tiger and stuff like that you know kind of creep up towards kind of i think 60 70 80 quid maybe um and then the bundles you know you're talking a good few hundred quid um but again, I think for the time that people are going to be saving by using this, it's probably going to end up paying for itself anyway. Um, I'd recommend everyone to at least download the demo and give it a go. Um, it's really impressive. And despite just a couple of little things I found just with when you're, if you, if you change where you're starting play from, sometimes the bit of audio you've recorded just sounds that little bit different. And, you know, the thing to do for that really is just to kind of, if you find a sound that you really like, just bounce it out straight away, just so you know you've definitely got that exact sound that you've got. Um, but yes, go out and give it a try. It's great. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this review of Crotos Reformer. If you have enjoyed it, then please click like. And if you want to go one step further, then click subscribe, please. Um, you can catch us on our website at thesoundarchitect.co.uk, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thesoundarchitect.co.uk. Our Twitter handle is at sounddesignuk. And our YouTube page, youtube.com slash sounddesignuk. Thanks very much.